So the message is entitled to the United States of America and the Cup of Iniquities, a prophetic warning. In the vision, I was shown two fierce angels descend swiftly from above from, from God, carrying giant swords. One angel landed at the east of the United States, and the second angel landed at the western coast of the United States. They stood where they had landed as they awaited further instructions from God Almighty on what to do next. At that time, my human spirit was lifted up to meet heaven by a powerful and irresistible force from above, from God's presence. I was ushered by a very glorious angel to a very beautiful courtyard in the realms of heaven. A court was already in session. I heard the voice of one presiding over the court session, but I could not see his face or gaze at his form because of the blinding and marvelous light that came forth from him and that came with force from him. So I fell at the courtyard with my head bowed completely to the ground. I was given strength to hear his powerful voice, but I was not given energy to see his face or to gaze at his form. So I lay face down on the grounds of the expansive courtyard. Other lesser voices spoke, but with unusual power and force that does not exist here on earth. This is what the booming voice said, number one. God's anger is dead up because of the pioneering role of the United States of America in promoting evil, perversions, and wickedness throughout the world. Number two, the cup of iniquities of the United States of America is nearly full. The cup of iniquities of the United States of America is nearly full. And then I was given the following scriptures. Genesis chapter 15 from verse 12 to verse 16. Matthew chapter 24 verse 12. Revelation 17 verse 1 up to 4. Daniel chapter 8 from verse 20 to verse 23. Matthew chapter 23, verse 32. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, from verse 13 to 16. And Revelation chapter 18, from verse 1 up to 8. Number 3. The pouring out of God's wrath upon the United States is restrained for half a season because of the prayers and the intercessions and supplications of the saints. We live there and we live in other countries. Number four, God's anger will be poured out on all those who call evil good and good evil, all those who pervert true knowledge, wisdom, justice, and righteousness in the U.S. and even beyond the shores of the U.S. I was given Isaiah 5 from verse 20 to verse 24, Romans 1 from verse 18 to verse 23, 2 Timothy 3, from verse 1 up to 5. Proverbs 17, verse 15. Jude, chapter 1, from verse 1 up to 25. Number 5. The judgment of God will start from his house. Among all those who are identified by his red and holy name, and all those who profess his son as their savior. Number 6. The United States of America and their allies are not permitted to destroy Russia or to cause her to disintegrate. Why? Because of the biblical, certain biblical prophecies which are yet to be fulfilled upon Russia and other countries. Number seven, the two angels that cut the United States of America have been given power over the wind, and the seas, and the oceans, the land, the air, the economy, and the masses of people. 
The power is to cause very violent storms, hurricanes, earthquakes, severe economic problems, diseases, and social unrest. This is to the end that men and women here on earth may know that God Almighty created the heavens and the earth, and that ultimately it is his own perfect will that should and that shall prevail in the heavens and on earth. Number eight, the USA is facing an imminent temptation which is of the proportions of Genesis chapter 6. You can go and read Genesis chapter 6. What is this temptation? To cross the God-ordained boundaries and limits of creation and nature. The Spirit of God says that it shall be a sign that humanity has reached the final and last stage of moral decay. When some human beings or people start to agitate for immoral and perverse relationships, or relations between human beings and some animals, including dogs, cats, and other mammals. This sort of thing will so anger God in heaven that his anger, which he has restrained for thousands of years, will finally be poured out. Let us watch and pray. Let us stand up and pray. <laughs> 